SEO issues. Hello and welcome to this video. We talk about Shopify SEO issues, specifically a URL called SRS LTID being indexed in Google search results. And it's a really big issue happening right now during the August 2024 Google Core update. I've written an article about this here on LinkedIn. And what's happening is that um, for Shopify specifically, um, duplicated pages are indexed in Google search results. And those URLs contain the parameter SRS LTID. Google's own statement on is that these URL parameters are added from Google Merchant Center. And it's part of the auto tagging feature. And Google says that basically it's ignored. So the URLs are not indexed or crawled. But um, as usual, Google is completely wrong about what they know. So somehow they've completely missed that, that they actually are indexed and crawled. And we've got lots of screenshots from people and in my own experience as well of this happening. So here's what this would look like inside of your search console. You can find this by actually searching for um, just SRS is probably enough or LTID inside of the pages. Um, and then you get something back like this if you are affected by this issue where you can see that um, all of these URLs are actually indexed in Search Console and Google is serving them and also trying to give them to users for queries that they are um, typing in. So massive SEO issue that is happening right now. It's particularly um, difficult for Shopify to fix because on Shopify, you do not get access um, to the actual um, URL. So by that, I mean from a developer standpoint in uh, Shopify, there's no developer function that can check and tell me, hey, um, on this URL, is there something in the URL that says SRS LTID or is there a question mark in the URL? Shopify um, does not allow that. There's only workarounds for that. And um, I've been working on that for a long time to, to fix that on Shopify for my clients. And I found some good workarounds. Um, I can't share the exact code that I've developed because um, this code also works mainly on a case by case basis. So because we can't hook directly into the URLs, we need to write programming code to basically separate those URLs into different pieces. And for each Shopify website, that looks a bit different um, to then find these parameters. Um, However, what I want to share with you is just to raise awareness that this is happening right now, first of all. So go and check your search console. We can see here in the search results, these issues are popping up everywhere. So six days ago, um, this page is posted on it. <clears throat> six days ago, this one, this article was created. Reddit um, post two weeks ago um, created about that. So um, this is a pretty hot issue happening right now. Um, other websites apart from Shopify can also be affected, but it would be easier to fix. So let's talk about the solution here. The solution is to first of all, create a list of all affected pages um, and then set those to no index. Or if you can try to set all of the pages that contain that question mark and SRS LTID to no index and then the pages that Google has already indexed, you want to now get Google to visit them again. So you want to now request Googlebot to visit those pages so that it discovers the no index. And it's important to not block Googlebot um, during the indexing because you're basically telling Google, hey, come and look at this page. It's now no index. But if you've then also tell, told Google at the same time through robots.txt, hey, don't visit that page. Um, so now you're sending confusing signals and you might not get Googlebot to visit. So um, do not add the robots.txt tag to block Google yet. First, let Google visit the pages and discover that no index tag, and then you should be able to fix it. So we've seen that cause real ranking disturbances because what's happening is um, that Google basically tries to um, rank pages instead of the original pages. So 
imagine you have here custom gift boxes. That's your main page that should rank. But now Google tries to rank this page because it's found basically the exact duplicate content. And, you know, Google thinks, who knows, maybe let's try to rank this other page instead of your main page. And so your main page stops ranking and your whole website can um, have massive ranking fluctuations where Google is trying to rank all these other pages instead of your main pages. And it just creates a massive technical SEO issue um, that I wanted to raise a little bit of awareness about and um, show you some solutions. Again, follow um, the steps that I've shown there in um, uh, for Google Search Console, but also look here at uh, Google Merchant Center. So perhaps turning off the auto tagging uh, could be an option. I have not tried that myself yet, but what you can also do for your store Could be to um, go here to Google search results and um, go into the shopping cart specifically, not the ad section at the top because that adds Google um, adds parameters to it, but go here to the regular um, search results list and click on any of your products. I think I've got one open already. And so we can see here now we're on this website and we can, we can see here inside of the URL that it has that SRS LTID. And those are exactly the pages that are being um, indexed in Google search by arrow. So again, Google's own team is not aware of that being a problem. Um, they think that's a feature, which is pretty hilarious, but it's up to us to fix that. So if you need help fixing that issue, feel free to post here on LinkedIn, um, shoot me an email, or um, comment on YouTube and I'll reach out to see if I can help you with that issue. I will only be able to help large Shopify stores resolve that. If you're a smaller store and you only have a few URLs, um, a few hundred pages, it might not be as big of a problem. It's a big issue for people with thousands of products in their inventory um, because that's where it gets um, a real problem. All right, thank you for watching and good luck in fixing this technical SEO issue if you are affected.